My book is a memoir. It's a memoir about a young woman who loses her parents and how she goes on to make her way in the world without anchors. It's about grief. It's also about coming of age. It's about love. It's about healing and just walking out into the world and not being afraid of it. Um, I think being the only child of two older parents, I was always aware of it. People thought my father was my grandfather. He used to make a joke out of it. My mother was very glamorous and exciting, so I didn't notice her age as much. She was 40 when I was born, and he was 57 when I was 14 years old. Uh, my father found out first that he had prostate cancer, and he was gearing up to have surgery, and my mother found out that she had stage 4 colon cancer. The night my mother died was the, the big moment of my whole life. It changed everything. If I looked at a timeline of my life, I see a giant black demarcation line right there that night. My parents' illnesses and deaths had a huge impact on my adolescence and on my coming of age years. I was 14 when they got sick. My mother died when I was 18 and my father when I was 25. And it just flooded into everything, grief and fear and loss. Writing this book has been a long process. And I wrote this version of it in just about 11 months, but it took me probably 11 years to get to the place where I could write that version. And I think it took a lot of healing on my part. It took a lot of understanding about grief. It took a lot of working with people with grief and really um, wanting to give back something, wanting to really share my experience in a useful way. I mean, I've already been hearing back from people who's, who've read the book and, and have found it really helpful and that that's all I ever wanted from this book was to be something that somebody could pick up who's grieving and not feel so alone and not feel so scared that there's never going to be an end to where they are. There's so many aspects to grief and one of them is that grief is can be beautiful at times. I look at someone who's grieving and I see a reflection of how much they loved the person who's gone. So I just see so much love in them for who they lost and I see so much love and appreciation for their life and, and what they created with someone. In the book I, I meet my husband and I have a daughter and those things are incredibly healing and I'm in a place in my life that I at times never thought I would be in. But those weren't the things that healed me necessarily. What healed me was learning how to be alone and learning how to forgive myself, learning how to stop being angry and stop being scared and stop carrying around all this hurt and pain. And when I finally realized that I could let go of that and I could just live my life and I didn't have to walk around in pain all the time, that's when I moved on. When you lose someone, you never forget, you never, lo you never lose that, that pain of missing them, but you learn how to live with it and you learn how to keep moving forward in your life and how, how to enjoy life again.